Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam. In this video, we will be talking about one of the most common problem that you might face while installing Windows 11. And the problem says that the PC must support TPM 2.0. So how we can enable it and what actually is TPM? So TPM is actually a chip that is embedded in your chipset or motherboard. And you do not need to worry about purchasing of this chip because this chip is already embedded in your motherboard if you bought the system within five years. According to Microsoft website, here we can see that since July 28, 2016, all new devices comes preloaded with this trusted platform module. Now the question comes, if you are facing this issue, then how you can enable it? For that, first of all, we will press Windows and R button and then we will type here tpm.msc. Then we need to click on OK. Now here we can see in TPM management on local computer, it shows that our TPM cannot be found. I know that my system is not more than five years old, then for sure that it should have TPM. Now, how are we going to enable it? Let me just quickly show you. So you require to reboot your system. So let's go to Windows and reboot our system. After we shut down our system, just make a restart and go to your BIOS. For most of desktop user, delete is the button to enter into BIOS. Now here we need to find security. This board is MSI and here is the separate segment of security. Here you need to click on trusted computing. Now here we have two options. Let it be PTT and in security device support, click enable. Now after press F10 and press yes. Now our system will restart. And now we will check whether our TPM is enabled or not. Now after you restarted your PC, let's press again Windows and R key. Now again you need to type the same tpm.msc. If already typed then simply click on OK. Now here we can see that TPM is ready for use and TPM is enabled. You can also know about the TPM manufacturer name, which in my case is INTC and the specification is 2.0, which is the minimum requirement of Windows 11. Now what we need to do is simply cancel it and run the setup again. In my case, I was just upgrading my Windows Insider. So I will be going to Windows Update in Settings. And here I will press on fix issues. This is the way how we can enable TPM security in our device. Now here you can see the installation process has begun, which means that there is no TPM error anymore. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content. And I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye.